In this video, I will show you some examples of Cauchy-Euler differential equation. The first example is x squared y double prime plus x y prime plus y equal 0. If you remember from the previous video, the first step in solving a Cauchy-Euler differential equation like this is to write the characteristic equation. Let me remind you. In general, when we have a Cauchy-Euler like this, this is the general form of a second-order homogeneous Cauchy-Euler differential equation. x squared y double prime plus a x y prime plus b y equals zero, which here a and b are constants. The characteristic equation is r squared plus a minus one r plus b equals zero. So here in this example, the characteristic equation is r squared plus a here is 1, the coefficient of x, y prime is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0, so 0 r, we don't need to write this. Plus b, b is coefficient of y, which is 1, so plus 1 equal 0. Now we have to solve this characteristic equation to find r, and then we can find the solutions of this Cauchy-Euler equation. For finding r from this characteristic equation, you can use quadratic formula, but easier is to move one to the other side. r squared is negative 1, and if you take a square root, r is plus minus a square root of negative 1. Usually we show a square root of negative 1 with symbol i, so r equals plus minus i. And we can suppose we have 1 here. And also let me remind you, when we have roots like this for the characteristic equation, two complex roots, as here we have, the solution for the Cauchy-Euler differential equation is x to the a. Note that here in our example, a is 0. We don't have any number here, so a is 0, times c1 cosine b ln of x plus c2 sine b ln of x. Now, if you want to use this formula for this example, y equals x to the 0. x to the 0 is 1, so we have to write only this part. c1 cosine of b, b is 1, cosine ln of x plus c2 sine of ln of x. And so this is the solution of this Cauchy-Euler differential equation. Let me show you another example. The given differential equation is x squared y double prime minus 3xy prime plus 4y equal 0. The characteristic equation is r squared plus a minus 1. a is negative 3. minus 1 is minus 4. So minus 4 r plus b. b is 4 plus 4 equal 0. Note that we can factor this characteristic equation as r minus 2 times r minus 2. If we set each bracket equal 0, r equals 2. And this root is a repeated root because the root of the other bracket is also 2. And if you remember, when we have a repeated root, which we have here, the formula that we have to use for solving the Cauchy-Euler differential equation is this formula, c1 x to the root plus c2 x to the root ln of x. This is the formula. Here in this example, r is 2. So we replace r with 2. And so this is the solution of this differential equation. Let me show you another example of the Cauchy-Euler differential equation. x squared 
d2y over dx2, second derivative of y, y double prime, plus 2x dy over dx, plus 5y equals 0. First, we have to write the characteristic equation. The characteristic equation is r squared plus a minus 1. a is 1. 1 minus, sorry, a is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. Plus b is 5 equals 0. And don't forget, when you are writing the characteristic equation and when you use this method, always check to see this coefficient is 1, which it is, usually. Now we have to find r. If we try to factor this, you can see that it's not easy to factor this or it's actually maybe impossible. But if you are familiar with complex numbers, maybe you can try to factor this. Anyway. The easier way that you can find r here is to use the quadratic formula. r equals, let me remind you the quadratic formula, negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a, which in this example a and b is 1 and c is 5. So negative 1 plus minus a square root of b squared is 1 minus 4 times 1 times 5 is minus 20 over 2a or 2. So r equals to negative 1 plus minus a square root of negative 19 over 2. Note that a square root of negative 19 is a square root of 19 times a square root of negative 1. And usually we show this with symbol i. So this equals negative 1 plus minus a square root of 19i over 2. And so r equals negative 1 over 2 if we divide this by 2 and then divide this by 2 plus minus a square root of 19 over 2i and so alpha is negative 1 half and beta is a square root of 19 over 2 now if we use this formula that we have for complex roots when we solve the characteristic equation and we get complex roots like this we can use this formula for solving the cauchy euler formula cauchy euler differential equation x to the alpha note that alpha here is negative one half times by c1 cosine of beta ln of x or ln of absolute of x plus c2 sine of beta ln x so here y equals x to the negative one half c1 cosine beta is root 19 over 2 ln x plus c2 sine of root 19 over 2 ln of x and this is the solution of this Cauchy Euler differential equation let me show you one more example and then we finish this video this example is a bit different from the examples that we have seen so far Consider this Cauchy Euler differential equation x minus 2y double prime plus 5 times x minus 2y prime plus 8y equal 0. I forgot the power 2 here. 
So if we have x minus 2 squared, y double prime plus 5 times x minus 2 y prime plus 8 y equals 0. At first, maybe we think this is not a Cauchy Euler. Yes, almost you are right. This is not a normal Cauchy Euler. It's not in the standard form. Remember, the Cauchy Euler is when we have something like x squared y double prime plus a x y prime plus b y equals 0. But the problem here is that we don't have x, we have x minus 2. And instead of x2, we have x minus 2 to the 2. Because we have here x minus 2, and again we see the same expression here, maybe it makes sense to do a u substitution, to change this variable from x to a new variable, to make this something like x. So what we have to do here is to do a substitution. Here, first, we have to do this substitution. We say, let's suppose x minus 2, which is appeared here and here, to be u. If we suppose u to be x minus 2, then note that with this substitution, y prime, what is y prime? What is this y prime? y prime is actually dy over dx. And we can write this as dy over du times du over dx. dy over du is derivative of y with respect to u. du over dx is derivative of u with respect to x. If from this relation that here we have, we take derivative of u with respect to x, derivative of u, u prime, derivative of u with respect to x, derivative of the right side is 1, derivative of x is 1, and derivative of 2 is 0. So this shows that dy over dx, which is actually y prime, derivative of y in terms of x, because du over dx is 1, note that this part is 1, dy over dx is the same as dy over du. So we can replace this y prime here with a new y prime, but this new y prime is in terms of u. y double prime is actually d2y over dx2. And similar to this, we can prove that d2y over dx2 is d2y over du2. So with this substitution, that we did here, we get to this new differential equation. We replace x minus 2 with u, so we have a u to the 2, y double prime, but note that this y double prime is different than this y double prime. Here, y double prime, the second derivative is with respect to x, but here, this is with respect to u. Maybe it's not a bad idea. To, to put 2u here to mention the derivatives here is with respect to u. But it's not necessary to do so. Plus 5 times, again this is u, y prime, plus 8y equals 0. Now we have a differential equation like the Cauchy Euler, but instead of variable x, we have variable u. Nothing changes here. For solving this Cauchy Euler, we have to write the characteristic equation. The characteristic equation is r squared plus a, which is 5 minus 1, 4r plus 8 equals 0. Now we have to solve this characteristic equation. r equals, note that we cannot factor this, so we use quadratic formula, negative 4 plus minus square root of b squared is 16 minus 4ac, 4 times 1 is 4 times 8, 32 over 2. 16 minus 32 is negative 16, and this equals 4i. So, this equals negative 4 plus minus 4i over 2. If we simplify this, we can write it as this, negative 2 plus minus 2i. Here, this is alpha and this is beta. 
So the solution of this Cauchy Euler differential equation y equals to x to the alpha x to the negative 2 times by c1 cosine of beta ln of x 2 ln of x but not x don't make this mistake as i did here u because the variable is u so u to the negative 2 c1 cosine 2 ln of u or absolute of u plus c2 sine of 2 ln of But remember, in the original equation, we don't have u, we have x. So we have to write our answer in terms of the original variable. We have to replace u in here with x minus 2. We have to substitute back. So we can write the solution for this differential equation. We can write the solution as this y equals u to the negative 2 what u is x minus 2 so x minus 2 to the negative 2 times by c1 cosine of 2 ln of u which is x minus 2 x minus 2 plus c2 sine of 2 ln of x minus 2 and don't forget to close the brackets this is the solution of this cauchy euler differential equation i hope by watching this video you have learned how to solve cauchy euler differential equations note that these cauchy euler differential equations that we did in this video all of them are homogeneous differential equations in the next video, I will show you some examples of non-homogeneous Cauchy Euler differential equations. If you like this video, please subscribe in my channel and see you in the next videos.